Alright everybody, so here's another uh, PC setup update video. Um, this is going to be the second to last update video I'm going to do because I've only got one more piece of my setup that I'm going to need to purchase before it's 100% complete. Um, the stuff that I've added to this update that was not present in the last one is that third monitor right there. So that was not in the equation before. It was just the way you set you see it right now. So now we've got um, the 42 inch, we've got a 24 inch, and a 22 inch that are running. So now what I've got going on is I use this one here for my main gaming display. I use that monitor for whenever I'm uploading and all that other stuff. And then whenever I live stream, I will have like all my text and all my other stuff. That way I can kind of read how everything's going. And then I've got the laptop right over here for doing yet another. So technically there's four monitors that are going to be running from right down here to left here. So the two new additions that I've got, um, well the three was that monitor there that I added right there. And then the two new additions are this new keyboard here. This one is called the Razer Black Widow Ultimate Edition. Um, what's pretty cool about this one is... Uh, I'll just open up something here that way I can kind of type how you guys can hear it but the uh, Black Widow Ultimate is a mechanical keyboard so it's a uh, it's a pretty pretty nice industrial keyboard um, you could pick it up at the Razer I think it's razorzone.com or your typical or your local computer store even ordering it online I think it runs generally I think it's hundred and thirty nine dollars is what this keyboard runs it's got a lot of macro keys along the side here if you guys are into that whereas I'm not there's a lot of Razer keyboards and other keyboards on the market that just have tons and tons and tons of macro options and I'm not into all that sort of stuff but this is actually the dimmest setting that this keyboard has to offer um, I, it was like almost radioactive bright green on the highest setting to where it was like burning my retinas and my eyeballs to where I couldn't even see right it was so bright um, so yeah, brand new uh, Razer Black Widow Ultimate Edition keyboard. I'm very happy with this. And then next is the uh, Razer Death Adder mouse. Same thing here. I'm more simplistic, you know, with my mount or with my mice. There is a mouse on the market that's the Razer Naga or the Razer Naga Epic that has like 12 buttons on the side and a lot of other macros. I don't need all that. I don't play MMOs anymore. This one here's got your standard scroll up and down. It's got your push button, and it's also got two side buttons right over here, and then it's got the green LED right here that fades in and out of the uh, on the Razer logo there. And it's a uh, let me see here, what does this say? I think it's a 6400. Uh, yeah, right there. I don't know if you guys can read that. If it'll even pick up. Nope, it won't. It won't unblur. But it's a 6400 DPI mouse. And I don't know if you guys remember, this is the old mouse here that we used to use. This is the original Razer Naga. As you guys can see, it's got the, the 12 different buttons there, two buttons on the side along with some other ones. And this one glows LED blue. This is the one that my son uses right now. And um, But yeah, I, you know, I just like using the regular, I like this button because it's just your, your typical two buttons, two buttons here, and then your, your scroll. So it's a pretty pretty simple mouse for what I use. Um, I don't play MMOs anymore, so I don't need all those macro keys and whatnot. But there you guys go. There is one more setup video for you. The final setup video is going to be replacing this setup here. I'm going to be giving this setup my Blue Snowball filter and Turtle Beach headset uh, to my son when we get his computer built. So all of this will be gone. The headset will be gone. And we're going to completely replace that with a whole new uh, sound setup, or shouldn't say a sound setup, but more so a, um, a headset setup. But I will um, bring that video to you probably October, maybe, is when I might pick that up, depending on how things go on that. But as of right now, this will be the second to last setup video that I do, as like I said, I'm almost 100% complete with it. I just need to get the the headset that I want to get. So. There you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed another setup video, and we'll see you guys for the last video for my setup series. We'll see you guys then.